Lin Chen and Dimi Chen Craft Art. Hi everyone. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back, Chan Chans. Chan Chans. So today we're making Naruto. Naruto. Uzumaki. Uzumaki. Naruto. <laughs> Ramen ball. So we've been watching a lot of Naruto because Lin has never seen Naruto. Yes. And indeed. I've seen all of it, including all of its fillers. So this time we're not watching it with fillers. Yeah. And so we've sped through. He's skipping all the fillers and watching all the actual main story since I've never watched it my entire life. So, and then I, I, we, we're currently watching uh, Naruto Shippuden, right? Yeah. And so I just, I then. I kind of took some time off from quilling, so I was like, "Oh, let's start making some Naruto figures, you know, in quilling." So the first one I decided to experiment with was Naruto. And there he goes, and disassembling. There goes. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard when I don't glue everything together. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so what are we doing? I guess we should start from the beginning for those viewers that have never seen our content before. Yeah, so, so this is the head. This is the head, but this is called quilling. It's uh, using strips of paper and coiling it up. And then here I am using a mole to push it out from like a, a disc, I guess, into like a... A dome shape. A dome shape, yeah. So and that's going to be his head. So the two halves when you put together is going to be the head. And then the orange thing right there, that's his body. So it's the same technique, but instead of using a circle mole, it's like a triangle, like a cone. Mm-hmm. And then this is the legs or his arms. No, I'm I making his arms. arms right now. And since I don't have anything, you like uh, like a mole or a tray. That's the right so shape. So I started to use, I realized that I can use the tip of my pens to do it. And I have three different sized pens tip, I mm -hmm. guess, to, um, to make it into the shape that I want. And these are priceless. I mean, they are your tools. No, these are my tools. So <laughs> the pens no longer work. They don't have ink anymore. And at one point, um, I got glue on the inside of the pen, so they no longer <laughs> click either. But they're immensely valuable. Yeah, still. <laughs> they are very valuable. I would not be able to make any coins without those pens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here, you're also making the elbows, I believe. Yeah, right? I'm making the elbows. Since later on, I'm gonna glue the. The, arm, the upper arm and the forearm, the upper arm and the lower arms together. And I normally there's a gap in between, like when you bent your arm, the elbow part. So mm -hmm. I'm using doing that. See, this is what I'm doing. So just fill in that little gap in between. So it doesn't look like much, but this will actually turn into an editor yeah. towards the end. So it's all the little details that actually add up, you know, in the mm -hmm. end. And uncoil. <laughs> yeah, the thing you're dealing with paper and normally I get lazy. I used to start off by gluing all the strips together and then rolling it up. But then I got lazy. So I was like, I don't want to do that. And also when you, when you do that, the glue dry and the, the, part, the part where the two ends glue together, it gets really stiff. And then you so can't when you roll every, it. When you roll everything together into like a coil, it doesn't roll smoothly. There's mm -hmm. a kink there because of the hard glue. Mm -hmm. So I decide not to do that anymore. But by not doing that, as I uh, coil everything up, sometimes I just jump out of my hand and then coil. Mm -hmm. So those are the feet that she just made. Yeah. They're little teardropped black shoes. Yeah. Or sandals. and. Yeah, that, that's sort of not my... Not case. Yeah. It's my... Uh, what's it called? Go-to foot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, what is it? My style, mm -hmm. I guess you can say, right? Because yeah. ev everyone have their own style into making things. This is my style. And here I'm making the hands. So same idea. And it's just I use a smaller dome, like a, mm -hmm. a mold to push out the hands rather than a bigger circle. And the little D-shaped ones are the ears. The ears, yeah. So, so I got to fill that in. So when I first started coiling, I, I, there was always that hole. And that hole is where the tool usually goes in to start twirling. Mm -hmm. So it would look really weird that in the middle of the face, there's just a hole there. So then yeah. afterward, I started filling in the hole and it looks a lot better. Because I don't give my figures any uh, facial expressions, like mm -hmm. no eyes, no nose, or anything like that. So that became the defining characteristic. And it's a little scary yeah. to have just one peering hole. Yeah. Stare deep. Gee. Gee. And then that's, <laughs> that's the, the filling up the 
The buttocks. The buttocks. You can say that's <laughs> the butt, yes. A very flat butt. I still think like most of the the anime figures that come out, how they all have very detailed underwear. That yeah. Lynn should make some nice underwear for some of her figures. Oh, you you have to understand <laughs> a lot of these things are very flat, right? It's not I mean, I try at one time, like, you know how a lot of anime girls have, like, big, big breasts? Uh -huh. So I try making calling and, like, making the chest big and, like, you know, lots of breasts. But I couldn't do it because it was just so hard to deal with paper. Mm -hmm. You know, so all the girls and guys all have the same body mm -hmm. shape. It's okay. I feel like you've found enough defining characteristics for each of them to So this one's make really cool. Out. I really like this thing. It's called I, I don't know what it's called. Really, a crinkler. A crinkler. Yeah, but it it, it gives the paper a little crinkle. Uh, crinkle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Words failed me. So that's it's okay. Not they fail us all. <laughs> uh, collar. His sweater. His because sweater. he wears a sweater twenty four seven. With like a a metal chain link jacket underneath. You know. It's so weird. Ninja style. Like, I'm just like, people don't think about these kind of things, but I, every time I look at Naruto, the fact that he's an orphan and like he has no family to take care of him, I'm just always wondering, like, where does he get all his food? Where does he get all the clothes? Well, that's why he survives on ramen. <laughs> yeah, but like, where does he get the clothes that he's wearing all the time, you know? Nobody's taking care of him. He's living by himself, so. It, it's those things that, like, it's never mentioned, but I'm always curious, you know? Mm -hmm. So now you're attaching all the pieces. Attaching all the pieces. It's nice to see them all come together in the end. Mm -hmm. And his leg was falling apart, so I have to re-glue. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when you go too quickly, the glue doesn't have a chance to dry yet. Yes, especially it's wet glue. So mm -hmm. it takes a long time to dry. Mm -hmm. So things start to fall apart as I'm like still working on working it. On it you know? Which is make... why I always start off with making all the pieces first let them dry completely, and then I put them together last minute. Mm hmm Because I remember I did the head one time, and uh, the glue was still wet. So when I was working on the head, the head, the, head, the forehead collapsed in, uh -huh. and it was just so awkward, and I couldn't pry it back out. Mm hmm You had to start over. Yeah. And that's the thing with, like, using paper and glue is that once you put the glue on, you can't really just wipe the glue off to restart mm -hmm. if you mess up. Because it doesn't really... It dries clearly, really nicely when it does dry. Mm -hmm. But when it's wet and you mess up, that's it. You have to start over. So if you ever wondered what a middle-aged nut is going to look like. And he's bald. <laughs> Receding hairline. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bald spot on the back of the head. And got a hole in his head, too. Yeah, it's a... It's a wound from battle. So I kind of cheated and made a bunch of hair strips on the side before I brought it and before I recorded the video because I, I was getting lazy. Cheater. <laughs> how will we know how you made all those identical pieces? I showed you <laughs> one piece at the beginning, but you'll see me make some more later because I started. It's never running enough, out. right? I started running out, and I had the most difficulty the most difficult time mm -hmm. with the headband because the glue was wet and it was not sticking to the head mm -hmm. but it turned out okay at the end there's just his bangs. bang tassels <laughs> <laughs> I think we're the only people who would ever describe hair as tassels <laughs> it's so hard to do the hair though because, mm -hmm. like, anime hair is very, has a lot of volume and it's always so full, mm -hmm. you know? And then I'm using paper, it's, like, all flat, so it's impossible to give it that full volume when it comes to hair. Mm -hmm. So whenever I make a figure, I have to, like, do a lot of research on what the hair looks like first. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in anime, they only draw one part of the hair at a time. Mm-hmm. 
And so it's important it's not a to realistic see. Kind of like in Dragon Ball, when drag when um, Goku was little, he has those three big peaks and then two peaks on the side, right? Mm-hmm. But depending on which direction he turns, those peaks move. Mm-hmm. So then you never really know what the hair really looks like when it's from an anime. Mm-hmm. So often I would have to like look at figures, actual figures, mm-hmm. to see what the hair is like. Yeah, you're studying. Yeah. That's why we have a massive figure collection. You're studying. <laughs> we don't it's have research. an Adito figure though. We don't? No, we don't. We have one of his dad. We have his dad, but not him. Mm-hmm. But by the end I realized I turned his head into like a, a blooming chrysanthemum flower. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how pretty. It looks pretty anime-like. I think the hair looks more like his dad's hair than more like him to I think it could be a little bit shorter. If it was a little longer, it'd be his dad's hair. So I guess it's in Spoilers. between. It's, it's in not between. his dad. It's in between. <laughs> Here, making that Naruto fish cake shape, whatever, on the back of his jacket. He needs to represent. All of Konoha's ninjas have that. Yeah. And here you're making his mosquito repellent. I don't know what I'm making because I can't see right now. Yeah. I don't know what that is, really. (laughs) Hey, you don't have uh, the excuse that you made this months ago to not remember. (laughs) Yeah, I recorded this video this last week. His mosquito repellent. I swear it looks like those mosquito repellents I that you thought, light up. <laughs> I think he normally puts something there, but I can't remember what goes there. Like, didn't he used to have like a slingshot or something like that that no. goes there? I, uh-huh. For some reason, I thought he did. <laughs> so this is his headband. Yeah, the extra part of it. So I like to twirl it a little bit so then it's as if it's like flying in the wind, making it very dramatic, you know? And then the little knot. And then. Hey, it's those details that blue. bring them to life. He has white blood. <laughs> I believe I'm making his weapon pouch right now. Yep. Full of kunai and shuriken. Kunai? Kunai. <laughs> kunai. Kunai? Uh-huh. Kunai? Whatever it's called. Those things that we don't use anymore. Whoa. <laughs> so that's finishing up the pouch giving it a little button yeah a lot of the glue and put it on his butt hey that's why Sasuke was able to steal it so easily it's just glue yeah, it just popped just right glue. off <laughs> and here you're making his actual weapon which is called a uh, kunai there you go. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Not like you just whispered it to me or something. Not at all. So here I'm doing the lazy way of just doing some flat pieces of paper together. Mm-hmm. But when I was doing my prototype, Dimitri made an actual carve. Like he glued lots of lots of paper together where like to give it a dimension and then he carved it out. I think you show it afterwards. Yeah, I'm gonna show it afterward when I show the full figure. Like you can see it in a three-dimensional. This mm-hmm. one is a very flat piece, you know. But the other one later, I'm gonna show it's three dimension. Yeah, it's I think I, cool. I think I spent like an hour or two just carving I it. I think I think you very did. carefully and not I, to chop while, my finger while off. While we were still working on the prototype, I was asking him like, "You do you're putting too much effort into this knife thing. How am I gonna do it when I'm doing the recording?" And he was like, well, just make the flat piece. <laughs> so, I'm having fun. Leave me alone. Yeah. And here we're doing, we're making the Rasengan. Yep. Right? Which is his energy fireball. Well, actually not fire. His energy ball. <laughs> what is what? I said fire. Energy ball. Energy ball. So. Oh. She's spinning up her chakra. This was, this was <laughs> also Dimitri's idea by cutting like different strips of paper into different colors and then like, or of different colors and then rolling them up. It's so a it, swirling chakra. Yeah, it, it makes, it gives it a really nice color. And then here I'm just doing the base. So in real life, chakra is just strips of paper, okay? Yeah. Got that? 
Like honestly, this form of art style is very easy to do. Mm -hmm. All you're doing is twirling up little pieces of paper. Yeah, just add tons of experience to that and you can pop out anything. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, not anything. There are still a lot of things that like I can't do, mm -hmm. you know. Which is why whenever I make a figure of some anime, I I ha I usually pick one where I know I can make like replicate it with mm -hmm. paper. You're not there, picking any difficult ones. Yeah, I'm not picking any ones where I know for nope. sure I can't do. Well, see, well, the paper, the glue is still drying. So here, this is the finished one and the dried one. <laughs> That's not going to fall apart That's not going to fall apart as I show you. But like you can see the knife is in, it's 3D. Very nicely. Brought to you by Dimitri. It's actually a little sharp too. Yeah. Oh, don't cut yourself. <laughs> Me. Rasengan. Rasengan. And then the little... His little pouch. His little pouch. And his big pouch. His back art. And then his incense burner. <laughs> <laughs> his zipper. And then gotta represent his clan. Or not his clan, his village. And the hair. Yay. So that's Izumaki Naruto. From Naruto Shippuden. When he's like 15 or something like that. About there. So. Tune in next week. Who are you making next week? You already made him, but... I already made him, but next thing, next week I'm I'm thinking of making a video for uh, Jiraiya. Oh, Jiraiya is cool. Yeah. Trust me on this one. So, come back next week, and yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> bye bye, Chan Chans. Bye bye.